So around a year ago, we got our first look at Starfield. And I'll be completely honest, it looked like shit, okay? It looked, the FPS was garbage. It looked janky. It, the graphics didn't impress me. I just didn't like it that much. And I was like, it's a cool concept, but they're not going to execute it well at all. It's way too ambitious for Bethesda. Now in 2023, after the new Starfield Direct, I feel that this is going to be a good game. Do you want to explore and see what you can find? Harvest resources and be on your way? Or simply take in the views? I think it's always a delicate balance between like what's realistic, what's sim, and what's Hollywood. And I think we sort of err on the side of like what's fun for the player. I'm very excited now. The graphics look better, animation looks better. The shooting, oh my god, the shooting looks so much better. Um, I'm very excited about it. Uh, I, I still am very skeptical about it. Like, for example, over 1,000 planets. Like, how many of those planets are going to be even good? I'm also skeptical about vehicles. Will there be vehicles to go uh, drive around all over the planets? Or will you just have to walk on two feet? Another thing I'm worried about is how will the main story actually utilize the whole universe? Will it use, use almost every planet or will you just visit the main ones with the main cities and then the other ones will just be left in the dust and they're just resource planets. They're not actually, they don't actually have their own story in the, the universe, I guess. And yeah, those are my main concerns. Overall, it looks great though. And um, I'm gonna just go over the whole direct in this video, just talk about it. Uh, you'll hear my thoughts on it and yeah that's about it okay let's start off with character creation it honestly looks really good there's a bunch of different um stuff you can choose obviously 40 presets there are like nose piercings a bunch of different jewelry you can get it's honestly it's a lot in in my opinion i'm not i'm not really a big fan of character creation i just kind of make a character super quick and get on because I, I played a game in first person anyways um, un unless the third person in this game is really good. I, I'll obviously decide. We have to wait and see. Um, yeah, but what I'm really excited about is the backgrounds. The backgrounds look insane. So from what they've shown, at least, it seems like they make a big difference. For example, the chef one where you can get hired because this guy has, because you have a specific trait this guy's looking for. And then there's some other ones that I, this is what, what the optional traits really blew my mind, especially like, for example, hero worshiped, this guy goes up to you and he's like, oh, I'm your biggest fan or whatever. But the, the guy presenting the direct Starfield direct, he said, you can recruit him in your crew. He can give you gifts, stuff like that. And overall, that's what gets me excited is that the world will feel real and, and it will be slightly different for every single player. That is what I'm really excited about. And if every character feels real and they nailed that part, it'll be insane. Because look at Cyberpunk. The backgrounds, they, it was just like a 30-minute intro or something like that. It, it wasn't really that much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. Things, And you also never got different skills and stuff like that for, that were actually important for the Cyberpunk 2077 backgrounds, okay? Um, yeah, but the backgrounds in this game, they just look way better. And I'm really excited, um, and I really hope Bethesda can nail it. And before I get into my thoughts on the skills in this game, um, I want to talk about the world itself. So from what I'm hearing, it's over 1,000 planets, and that's just, I think it might be too ambitious for uh, Bethesda. A lot of the planets, they look amazing. They look phenomenal in terms of art direction. Graphically, it doesn't blow me away, but it still looks pretty good. But art direction, it looks insane. All the creatures look really good. Uh, there's just a ton of detail everywhere. I really hope we can get a car or some type of ve vehicle to um, explore. Like maybe a hover bike, stuff like that, uh, to explore all these planets. Or maybe like a little ship so you can explore the planet like that faster. Um, it'll, it'll be really cool. I really, really hope they're in the game. Or maybe you could ride animals, stuff like that. I'm also really loving the variety within the game. Like all these different planets have so much different variety. Hopefully every planet has a couple cities to explore. I really, really, really don't want a bunch of planets that just have no cities on it or not just nothing on it and they're just there for you to gather resources that's my main that's a, you know like i said my main concern is that it's just going to be bloated with planets 
and it might just be better if they just stick with one galaxy with only a couple planets but like i said we gotta wait and see but i'm really loving the variety within the art style the art direction for example one planet is blue very bright and stuff and then another planet looks like autumn and it just blows my mind that this is just gonna be in one package same as the city the main city they showed it looks insane and then there's another one that looks like cyberpunk or blade runner and if every city has their own little story to it and stuff like that for example eso all the for example eso all the areas in eso have different quest lines for it if this game can have different quest lines for every single planet that would be great and then obviously the overarching story throughout the whole game and yeah let's now get on the skills i'm not sure how i feel about the skill system so the skill system there's five skill trees and then there's four ranks per skill which that is a lot um which is great i like variety and from what they're show from what they showed it looks great with all the variety i am concerned about one thing though some of these skills look very tedious to get, to get the rank four so you have to do the skill to pretty much level up in that skill you have to do something in that field to level up that skill and there's four ranks per skill like they said and i feel like it could get really really tedious to try to get that one skill you like the well they get the rank four in that one skill you like that's what i'm really worried about overall it looks great so far some of the skills like i'm not sure if they're even necessary i really hope every skill is necessary because it, it seems like there's so much this game just has so much in it i feel like some of the skills might just not be worth it uh it still looks better than cyberpunk skills at least because that game had really 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 bad skills a uh, very bad skill system i still like that game by the way recommend it but not it's very basic this is something i'm blown away at is the ship customization not only can you customize most of the parts of the ship you can customize what each of them do which is insane but <laughs> i like how you can make it goofy though like for example the mech one the animal one because i have a feeling some people are gonna make some dirty things with their ship overall it looks really good the ship customization i'm loving it i wasn't really a big fan of the house customization in fallout 4 i was like it's too like janky i would never really use this i, I would never go back to my base at all but this since you have to travel with your base which is your ship obviously um it'll be worth it it seems insane uh it, it seems like i'll have to obviously go back to my ship a lot to get different things go to craft different things there it just seems perfect like this seems too good to be true but you know i believe them for now at least the companion system in starfield looks really really good so not only obviously there's companions you can talk to them different personalities whatnot but you can recruit random people off towns or cities and stuff which i think is insane that's really cool um each of them can give you different quests they obviously have different skills my main thing is the quest i wonder how deep they're gonna get into that because that has a lot of potentials it has a lot of potential to make every character feel real and it has a lot of potential to make the world feel real and make every make you actually feel part of it instead of just a video game <laughs> it makes you actually feel part of the universe instead of just a random character inside a random video game world it looks really good i'm really really excited for this i really hope they don't half-ass it and i hope all the quests for every character is actually meaningful another thing i'm really excited about is space flight i love the space in general it's very interesting there's so much potential it's pretty much infinite boundaries boundaries there and yeah it just seems really cool what they've been doing um you can obviously go to space fly around uh you can hijack different ships you, if you fight different ships you can obviously kill them get their cargo or you can hi hijack them and kill them from the inside and i really I, I have a question on this will there be potential let's say i want to hijack this ship i just fought um if i hijack it i really hope it's not like assassin's creed black flag where i hijack it i and i get the options to kill the people get the loot stuff like that i really hope there's more to it let's say i hijack the ship and there's new quests there the characters beg for me not to kill them as an example and they bring me to their leader they're like i want to recruit you instead or i want to i don't know do something cool or maybe be like um they're let's say they're stalling you for 
something and then guess what more ships come in, come in to help them and try to kill you or there's just there's so much potential i really hope there's actual story to these moments instead of just oh let me go hijack the ship call it a day i really hope there's actually story to it i hope there's actually characters to it for some scenarios at least and yeah oh yeah it's uh, hopefully i mean it's all hope, probably just hopeful thinking but if, if if this is the case this might be game of the year for me <laughs> okay um yeah now let's talk about the different space stations you can visit stuff like that i really hope same thing with the planets that they're actually meaningful and they're not just copy and paste yeah and that's about it let's talk about um exploration now the exploration in starfield looks pretty good so far there's uh, a mining tool you can scan animals just like no man's sky um so very familiar for like a sci-fi game uh overall it looks pretty good every planet looks unique so far from what they've shown but my main concern is the procedural generation i'm down for it but i'm also not down for it so one part of me is like ah, it's cool you know every planet could be different there's a lot of there's also a lot of planets to explore so there's always something new to look at and something new to go to my main problem is um just a lot of plan a lot of planets are gonna suck like like they're not gonna be handcrafted so some of the planets they showed that have like a bunch of cities cool cities cool npcs that are handcrafted those are really cool but then other planets i'm like there's not gonna be anything to do on them there's not gonna be a cool city a cool town so yeah that's what i'm mainly worried about but if they can somehow nail that if they can somehow like add um towns and different cultures in every single planet and different stories in every single planet i think that would be phenomenal because i prefer a smaller world or a smaller map with a lot of things in it than for example this over a thousand planets but most of the planets might not even be used so that's my main concern i'm still worried about it uh we'll have to wait and see on that one and overall i'm i really 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 hope they nail it now on to uh, outpost or your camp you can make, your base. So you can make a base on almost any planet. And I think it's pretty cool so far from what I've seen. I, I'm not sure. I'm not fully convinced though. My main problem is, for example, Fallout 4. I made a base. It was really shit to be, to be honest. It was really, really bad. But the, the point is, is that I would never go back to it. I would never go to it. There was nothing cool and useful about it um yeah I, this you can at least make cool bases but will i will it actually be useful uh that's my main concern because like i, I want to keep going back to my base like over and over again and from what they said you can assign different crew members to jobs at your base or to your base and i think that's really cool i really hope they'll have like a thing where let's say i make a mineral mining base or a plant farm and plant an animal farm on one planet i really hope I, they're probably not going to do this but i really really hope let's say one planet has a unique type of plant a unique a unique type of flower it would be cool if another planet that doesn't have that type of resource let's say there's a quest where i have to go get um i have to get a bunch of a plant or some type of yeah a bunch of some type of plant and have to bring it to a different planet or a different galaxy to deliver it to them because they're gonna die without it you'll get good money out of it stuff like that actually give me reason to go build a base on this planet give me reason especially story-wise i really hope there's actually story stories about it and quests about it so yeah overall uh that's probably just wishful thinking base building does look pretty good for the most part i really like the new camera angle from bird's eye view pretty much top down view that's really cool uh overall it looks really good i but like i said i really hope they give me a reason to go back there so far from what i've seen they have and i want the combat the combat looks fucking awesome it looks really good especially for a bethesda game you might be like oh it looks kind of janky um fps is kind of shaky and i'm like yeah i know it's bethesda whatever but this is an RPG game first, I hope so, and then a shooting game second. So from what I've seen about the shooting, it looks great. The elemental guns and abilities look good. 
there's so many guns and different gun types that's what i like a lot and it just looks fast paced in fallout 4 and 76 i just stand still shooting the enemies till they die and i'll just use a stim pack to heal this game it seems like you're it's more fast paced you're more on the move using your boost sliding stuff like that i think it looks really good i like the variety of guns and abilities so far for example at the end that little that force ability looked awesome it was very badass i really do hope they can nail the enemy variety and make it so then like oh maybe you have to use a certain gun for a certain enemy um let's say i have to sh i can shoot off different limbs of certain enemies to weaken them and i really hope there's like a bunch of sub bosses per different planets there's a lot of potential they can pretty much do anything and i really hope they do everything i just said and more yeah another thing that i i find kind of i'm kind of worried about is the traversal again like i said earlier traversal um i'm because from what i've seen you can just boost and slide which is really cool but i want to see if there's different dashes slow-mo dash, dashes like in um cyberpunk and i think that would be awesome if they had a multiple different type of type of abilities it would just make the game feel more dynamic the combat feel more dynamic and from from what they've said and showed they said the combat will be dynamic and will be more di dynamic than let's say like fallout 4 or something but i and i think that's awesome but I, they might have to take it a step further with the different movement options if they do end up having that which i really hope they do and yeah i'm very excited about it i'm very excited about the combat because it's fine finally an rpg game with good combat cyberpunk had good but it was very janky combat the ai was really bad um every enemy was the same stuff like that if this game could like solve that problem and make every gunfight feel different slightly different stuff like that it would just be awesome it would be great because i it looked from the looks of it there's going to be a lot of combat now for my final opinions about everything overall it looks fucking awesome i'm very excited i i'm very calm i really really hope they hit that september 6 2023 date I assume they will uh because they showed off showed off the deep dive and it does look really good it will be a day one game pass game so yeah pre-install it right now if you already have game pass if you're interested and it looks really good i'm very excited for it but my my main concerns are like i said traversal in combat and in the world will the world even be good or will it just be bloated and i will only go to like five planets or 10 out of the 1000 they have and if they can nail the writing the world feeling the combat the characters it'll be great you know the main thing i am kind of worried about is the writing because fallout 4 it started off great but then near the end it was complete garbage it was so boring and i just i had to force myself to beat the game and yeah i really hope they can nail it with this game i really hope because so far this looks like star citizen but single player rpg style and i i that's all i wanted in a video game to be honest they can just nail everything they have nail the factions nail the, the backgrounds the characters combat everything and give me more yeah i mean that, that's a, that might be a bit too much but even if they do deliver on what they have shown i'll be very happy so yeah that's about it uh comment your opinion opinions down below and bye